And we are adding some more rain out there tonight. We've been tracking some showers moving across Montgomery County. You can see some of the rain now around Kettering and Centerville down in Washington Township, over to Miamisburg and West Carrollton, moving out of the Dayton area. And then over to Green County, Cedarville, Xenia, and Bellbrook getting some of that rain up towards Springfield as well. And the showers, as you can see, are progressing to the east and southeast. Our upper level wind flow coming out of the west northwest, steering the rain in that direction. But more importantly, back to the west of us, heavy rain developing now across the central part of Illinois. Showers and thunderstorms here and then some strong thunderstorms as well over the northern part of Missouri. So this will all be moving eastward overnight. So especially later tonight after about 2 in the morning, our chances for some thunder and lightning going up. Looks like the threat of severe weather though mainly staying to the west of us. As far as your morning drive goes tomorrow, temperatures in the 60s. A mild start but cloudy, rainy and even tomorrow morning for your morning commute could be some flashes of uh, lightning and some rumbles of thunder. 73 are high today, 54 degrees the low temperature this morning with our record high 96, 41 the record low back in 1901. And tonight we're seeing cloudy skies and some rain has just moved through. We've dropped off to 62 degrees. Don't think we'll get much cooler than that, just kind of bottoming out around 60. If anything, rising a bit here late tonight. East southeast wind at 12 with a relative humidity at 84 percent. And our weather checkers tonight also reporting those temperatures mostly in the low to mid 60s. As we look up north in Greenville, Lowell Miller at 63 degrees. Vicki Sifke in New Carlisle, a little warmer there at 66. But you can see the low to mid 60s up north. Central part of our viewing area, Pat Lee Cannon, Trotwood, 66. Jason Thompson, 65 in Brookville. Jim Robbins in Beaver Creek, 63 degrees with some of that rain. And looking at some rain over towards Xenia as well. Bill Tells Road, 63. And Greg Shower at 62 degrees. Barb Shively in Union tonight, 63 degrees there. So there are the 50s. You can see those to the east. Of us, but look at the warm readings down south. So, right in this position here, that is our warm front running from uh, right around uh, just south of Chicago, more or less where you're seeing some of those higher dew points, and these are being pulled eastward. So, not only are we going to be looking at some rain tonight, we get back into that muggy air similar to what we had on Saturday, Saturday but just briefly, mainly through the morning hours tomorrow. Low pressure to the northwest of us tonight, and uh, we have that uh, uh, warm front, as I mentioned, extending south and southeast. We're down towards the Cincinnati area with that cool front setting off those thunderstorms down through St. Louis and Kansas City. And plenty of humid air to the south that will be settling over us at least for part of the day. But the good news is a cool front does push through as we head towards tomorrow afternoon. So the warm and humid air will get shunted off to the east. We'll actually see some slightly cooler, less humid air work back in for Wednesday night, early Thursday. That won't be around for long because that is that high slides to the east. We get right Right back into the warm and humid weather as we head toward the weekend. Tonight, some scattered showers, and later tonight, a few thunderstorms as well. As I mentioned, we'll bottom out around 60 and then rise late tonight. Scattered showers, thunderstorms tomorrow, best chance in the morning hours, and then winding down during the afternoon. There are your temperatures through the morning, 64 at 8 o'clock, 68 at 10. And then you can see those readings climbing into the 70s, even some upper 70s by the end of the day as we get some sunshine back. Your seven-day planner, nice day coming up on Thursday. A slight chance of some afternoon thunderstorms Friday, but otherwise warmer, more humid into the weekend. And then we'll see that chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms Saturday and Sunday, especially in the afternoon and evening hours. So that